Welcome to Destination Central, I'm Harriet Wilson. Well the colder weather is setting in and it's nearly time for those school holidays. So have you got two weeks of entertainment planned for the kids? Well if not, never fear as we are doing all the thinking for you. The show today is all about the best places in Hamilton to entertain both you and the kids these school holidays. So let's check out the lineup. We start off with Sky City's Boulevard, then the holiday programs at Adventure. We speed it up a notch with the Advantage Room. We check out the Classics Museum, and Amy gets a little crafty with Splashy. I am so looking forward to today as I get to test out all of the entertaining places just to make sure that they're up to scratch for those kids. So let's check out our first business of the day and also check out my bowling skills. Sky City in Hamilton has a range of family friendly fun on offer. We are off to discover Boulevard, which is not only great for entertaining the kids, but the adults might have a bit of fun too. Hi Serene, so what is on offer here at Boulevard? So we have 20 bowling lanes with automated scoring to keep track of your victories. Um, we also have our Blend Cafe, there's bumper bars on all of the lanes, so whether you're a pro or a novice, it's fun for all ages. So tell us how it all works. Okay, so we have 20 bowling lanes available and we can have up to six people bowling per lane per game. Um, so we've had groups as big as two or three hundred and here big corporate groups or smaller families. Yeah, we can cater to any size groups. Awesome, and why is this a great option for the school holidays? Well it's a great indoor weather proof venue, so whether it's sunny or raining, it's a great option to bring your kids and family along. And do you cater to large groups? Absolutely, we have birthday package options available, um, package options for um, family groups and corporate bookings as well. And is there an age limit at all? No, absolutely not. We do have little ramps for kids um, or the bumper bars as well to make it a little bit easier on them. And we also have senior citizen rates as well. So yeah, it's fun for everyone. Now, can you tell us about your family packages? We currently have a family package for four available at $59 and it includes uh, one game of bowling, pizza, two large fries, four small drinks. Um, it's a really great value option for families. Wow, that sounds like a great deal. Now you mentioned your cafe blend, can you tell us what style of food is available? Um, we have a range of different cabinet food available such as sandwiches, wraps, savouries, that kind of thing and then we've got a full menu which includes pizzas, burgers, fries. Well that sounds delicious, now can you tell us about your opening hours and about your night glow? We're open from 9am through till 10pm Sunday through Thursday and 9am through till 11pm on Friday and Saturday evenings. Um, we are closed on Christmas Day and Easter Friday and open from 1 o'clock um, on Anzac Day with them being public holidays. Um, with the night glow it's a really fun activity and um, we've got fluorescent bowling balls, fluorescent pins, um, pumping music, pumping lights, it's just a really fun activity. Yeah, it sounds like it. Now can you tell us where you're located and how viewers can get in contact with you? We're located on level two of the Sky City Complex on 364 Victoria Street, Hamilton. Um, you can phone our friendly team or you can check out our website or even just pop in, grab a lane and um, come in during our opening hours. Book your school holiday fun at Boulevard at Sky City, Hamilton. <clears throat> After the break, we head to Adventure and Splashy. See you then. Hamilton's very own Adventure offers an action-packed range of school holiday programs for your kids to discover and have a blast. Let's have a chat to Mark to find out more. Hi 
Hi Mark, so first of all, what is Adventure? Uh, Adventure is a holiday program. Uh, we also run school camps and we have a before and after school care program as well. Uh, we're focused on giving kids outdoor experiences. We do have other programs uh, that run for in indoors. Um, we have a school of rock and um, a computer animation program as well. What range of programs do you have available? Uh, we've got a heap of programs going. Um, they're not all running at each holidays, so you have to check the website to see what's on. Um, we always have an everyday program going. Um, it's a different activity every day, and that one's just based at school. That's things from uh, science experiments to arts and crafts days um, to cooking days. Our outdoors programs are a little bit different. Um, we head off and do, do something different for each day, so we could be going on a different bushwalk. Uh, one of the days that we do is uh, up Mount Parongi, and we head up to the Kanafanafa Cave. Um, that's a great day, and we end up cooking our lunch on the open fire and uh, getting up to our knees wet in the, in the river. Um, the kids have a great fun on that one, as well as having a look through the cave. Um, we have a School of Rock program where the children set up a band and produce their own CD, and a computer animation program uh, where children can have a look at some other animations and have a go at making their own. Now what sets your program apart from other school holiday programs? Um, well, being based for outdoor, outdoor learning, um, we do a lot of things. Um, with the kids that they wouldn't normally get the opportunity to do. Um, we take them down fishing, we teach them all the skills. Um, we go down to the river and we also do a trip out to the, to the sea, um, catch some snapper hopefully. Um, the, the bushwalks, um, the kids are learning about what they're doing at the same time as being out there doing it. So uh, when, they, when we're lighting a bushfire um, and cooking our lunch on it, they're learning about the safety of the fire. Uh, just like when we're around water, we're learning a little bit about the safety and, and all of those other aspects that go with being in the outdoors in New Zealand, um, not just getting out there and doing it. Great. So where are you located and how can parents find out more? Uh, we're based at Hamilton West School. Uh, we do have pickup points throughout the Waikato and Auckland for our summer camp. Um, the best way to get in contact with us is either um, to give us a phone call or to jump onto our website and have a look. And you can also enrol straight from the website as well. Cool, well, thanks for that Mark. I am going to go talk to some of these kids who have been on adventure and see what they have to say. Well I'm here with three of the students who have attended um, an adventure camp or holiday program and they're going to share with us a little bit about what they enjoy the most about the whole program. So first of all, can you, can you tell me your name? Ella. Taylor. And over here? Titan. Awesome. Now, Ella, you've been to a camp, have you? Is that right? Yes. So can you tell us what you enjoyed the most? Well, I enjoyed the caving. That was really fun. And I enjoyed making new friends. Mm -hmm. And everyone was really nice. And yeah, it was really fun. Sounds very fun. And what about the camps? How, what do they involve? Um, well, at the camps, you can do lots of very exciting things like kayaking, sailing, and you can even do lots of, well, obviously, outdoorsy things. It's lots of fun. Yeah, it sounds amazing. Now, have you had a fun experience at um, one of these holiday programs or camps? Yes, I remember the one time when we went out to Raglan and we caught this very big snapper and I got to take it home and my parent, me and my parents ate it. <laughs> was it delicious? Yeah, it was really yum. Wow. Well, it sounds like there are so many activities and fun things that you can get up to uh, at Adventure. So make sure that you do book your kids in these school holidays. You and the kids will love this next stop. A chance to get a bit messy and get the creative mind flowing. Perfect for a rainy day in the school holidays. Let's take a look at Splashy. Hi Sue, lovely to meet you. Welcome to Splashy Amy, nice thank, to meet you. Thank you. Now first of all tell me what is Splashy? Splashy is a ceramic factory that's been around Hamilton for about 16 years. Um, it was started off by an amazing artist who created lots of kiwiana. Um, it's all made on site. A lot of it is to sell to the shops here in New Zealand and a lot of it went overseas as well. Um, also, um, it's been created here a place where families can come and paint your own products, like mugs, plates, things like that. Um, something to have family time, caring time and fun time most of all. So why is this a great place to come for in the school holidays? Well, it's friendly. 
It's no fuss, we don't mind mess, lots of time, there's no rush. Children can come and spend all day here if they want. They can bring food, drinks, things like that, and just relax and have a really great time. Family, friends, grandparents, all sorts. And what range of pieces can be created by your customers? Oh, you can start off with things that are really, really cheap, like little tiles that have got like 3D shapes on them of whales and stars and things like that. Move up to cups and mugs and plates, useful things that can be used. Everything's dishwasher safe and can be used at home. And then they can go to ornaments like um, dinosaurs and things like that that can, um, the children can enjoy painting. So can you tell me what the process is of creating these pieces? First of all, it starts out in the back factory where we've got a man called Andy who pours all the clay into moulds. Um, they set for a certain time and then they go into one of the kilns and they get fired for about 48 hours at a temperature of about 900 degrees. Once they've come out from there, we put them on the shelves and they can be painted and then they go back into the kiln again, they get glazed and fired at a temperature of about 1160 degrees. And that bakes the glaze on, makes them all nice and bright and shiny and ready for the children to, be, to come and pick them up. Now you mentioned that the pieces are dishwash safe, are they microwave and oven safe as well? Absolutely, yes. And do you cater for functions as well? We do birthday parties, hens parties, all sorts of things. Now there's also a gift shop that's selling unique crafts. Can you tell me a bit about this? Okay, well we do all sorts of products that go to lots of the shops throughout New Zealand and also overseas. Um, we send off lots of things overseas, especially celebration platters and things like that, which our artists you know, um, personalise to the couple that are getting married and things like that, or new babies. Yeah. And whereabouts in the Waikato are you located? Okay, we're located between Hamilton and Arawahi, and we're in the old village hall. Big, bright, old orange building. And it's got a green goat on top of it, so it's easy to find. So how can people get in contact with you to make a booking? OK, we have a website, and also by email, or um, they can ring and make a booking. All right, well, let's give it a go. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sue. It was lovely to meet you. You're welcome. <laughs> lovely to have you here. Come Love, again. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Go. Bye. How fun was that? And as they cater for up to 65 people, this is the perfect place for a function. So if you're looking for a bit of creativity, Splashy is where it's at. Stick around because after the break, we check out the brand new Advantage Room and the Classics Museum. See you then. If you and your kids love a challenge, then I have just the place for you. Let's go check out the brand new Advantage Room. Hi Nikki, well how great to have this facility finally finished. Can you tell us a little bit about the Advantage Room? Well the Advantage Room's been open seven weeks now and we've had an amazing first seven weeks. We've had our community open day on the 1st of March and had over 1,200 people come through just to have a look. And then uh, 10 days later, we had elite national championships. So we had four days here, almost sell out capacity every single day, which was just amazing. 
and obviously last weekend we were really fortunate to have the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge here at our official grand opening to open uh, the whole facility so it's, it's been a really full on six weeks for us but more importantly what's going on on the track is that we're now seeing schools were fully booked Monday to Friday every four till six with schools coming to get on the track so over 150 kids are now experiencing uh, track cycling who'd never been on a track before. And then on top of that, we've got our programs like Ladies Only, Men's Only, 50s Plus, and even our Moms and Tots group. So it's really becoming to be a really place, great place for the community to come and get on their bikes. So you mentioned there a little bit about what sort of things are on offer here. Can you tell us a bit more about that? So 80% of the time that we're open is actually available to the community to use. And that's everything from an early morning roll. So if, you're, if you don't mind getting up at six o'clock in the morning to do your exercise or go to the gym, instead of going to the gym, you can come here and you can do an hour on the track, um, get shower change, grab a coffee and be in the, in the office for seven o'clock. If you're a bit of a nighttime owl, you can come at nine o'clock at night and you can come and have an hour on the track and then sort of take off home back to bed at 10. But in between all of those times, we've got programs such as Moms and Tops. So if you're a mom, dad, aunt and uncle and look after an under five, then during the day we can look after the under five on a strider bike and they get to go on the infield and over our little pump track while the person who looks after them gets to go on the track for an hour themselves. Uh, we've run 50s plus which is almost a cyclo fit program so if you're a little bit older and you don't want to be racing and don't want to set world records you can come and have fun with like-minded other people and come and le learn a new hobby as well. And then for the complete beginner you could come down and have a go so in our evenings we run have a go sessions so for $15 an hour that includes bike, helmet and instructor don't need to wear lycra you just come down and you have a go and have some really good fun on our track. And what sort of age range is this suited to? So we have a minimum age of 10 and, and that's for a couple of factors it's not really till kids get to 10 that they really have a good grasp of coordination skills for a bike and with our corners being so steep here kids need to be really competent on a bike before they come here to then have a go. Uh, our oldest rider is 92 so we've got Stan who's 90 and Reg who's 92 are our older riders that come here and, and certainly Reg who's 92 is now setting up our trikes program during the day for our three wheelers. Um, so we, we run really from ages 10 and upwards as we say uh, if you're getting over 90 we'd perhaps like to put you on three wheels rather than two wheels and, and then we have a lot of people in between that so our kids are catered for four to six every weekday and then we have a lot of our adults turning in through the evenings as well. And do you offer group functions and kids parties? Yeah, so we've had, uh, we've had two uh, parties now, or two kids parties that come through. Uh, and it was really interesting, they booked to go to other places like Laser Tag or the movies. And the kids came here from Nationals and turned around to the mom and said, no, 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 we want to come to the track instead. So what we do there is we put the kids on the track for an hour, so we have an instructor. And it's again, it's $15 per kid per hour. And we provide the bike and the helmet and the instructor and they spend an hour on the track basically having a have-a-go session and having some really cool fun. And then they can either go into the cafe that we've got downstairs or we can actually set up a party zone inside the infield as well and they can carry on having all their birthday cake and food on the infield. But we've also got um, a couple of 40th birthday parties booked in, a 50th, and we're in the, in the process of organising an 80th birthday party here as well for later this year. Fantastic. And finally, where are you located and how can viewers get in contact with you? Okay, so we're located on State Highway 1, just north of uh, Cambridge, as if you're going towards Hamilton, right next door to St Peter's. Um, uh, people can uh, get more details from us on our website, which is www.avantagerome.co.nz. And on there, you've actually got the booking system, so you can actually find out who's, book who's on the track and how you can actually book into the track as well. Alternatively, phone 0800 Velodrome and we'll, we'll talk to you on reception and we'll get you into the right session. What an awesome way to get in the workout as well as have a load of fun with your friends. This next stop is sure to interest the whole family. With a little bit of education mixed in with a whole lot of fun is what you'll find at the Classics Museum in Hamilton. So let's step back in time and meet Emily. Hi Emily, now first of all what is the Classics Museum? Uh, we're a classic car museum. We've got a huge display of cars on the floor. We've got about um, 60 on display at any one time. Um, we rotate our displays all the time just to keep them fresh and whenever people come there's something new to see. Um, we've got, we're not just about the cars though, we've got um, other things on display. We've got petrol pumps and signs and tins. Um, we've got 
a big tree service station, which is a replica of how service stations would have been in early New Zealand times. And what range of cars do you have on show here? We've got um, right down to the early cars. Uh, we've got the earliest car on display is uh, All Days and Onions 1906. Um, car and we've got cars ranging 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s and a few in the 70s. Now as you mentioned it's not just about the cars so what else do you have on display? Yeah as I said we've got the replica of the early service station here um, which can be quite cool for people to have a look through because you know people don't know what they look like they've changed a lot over the years. Um, we've also got a display down the back which is um, takes people through as it would be to go on a road trip in the 50s with your family. Um, brings back a lot of memories for people and they share them with their children when they come in. So we've got um, a caravan and everything set up there like you'd be going on a holiday and you go through as if you're yeah, going on a road trip. And who can view these pieces? Uh, anyone. <laughs> uh, members of the public, we've got um, a huge range of people that are coming from all around New Zealand. We've got visitors coming from overseas when they visit New Zealand. Um, the car groups use our conference centre, they have meetings here, they um, kind of meet in the car park and um, then either come through the museum or just um, stay in the cafe or outside. They um, then can look at other people's cars while they're here, so it's a good meeting place for everyone really. Yeah, so can you tell me a bit more about the function centre? Yeah, it's called the Ballier Lounge. Um, we seat up to about 100 people in there and we've got a projector and a whiteboard and it's also got a view over the whole museum so it adds a little bit of character to your conference. So what are the admission prices for the museum and whereabouts are you located in the Waikato? Uh, it's $20 for an adult, $8 for a child but we've also got some really good family packages so if you're, um, which are really reasonable as well if you're coming with an adult and children um, it's cheaper to have children with you um, and then we've got senior citizen rates and a rate for groups or car groups and things as well. And um, We're located right off State Highway 1. Um, as you come down the new drive, um, Avalon Drive bypass, you'll see a big car on the pole up in the air, which you can't miss, and an 18 metre tall replica jukebox. And we're on Railside Place. And what is your website? Uh, it's www.classicsmuseum.co.nz. Now I hear you've also got a 1950s diner, so let's go take a look. Man, this diner looks awesome. So can you tell me what sort of style of food they cater for? Mostly American diner style food. They've got burgers and chips and hot dogs, and um, but we've also got a modern twist to the food as well. And what else is unique about this place? Um, firstly, I think the entrance through an 18 metre tall well, it's a jukebox. Um, and then you come in and we've got the actual jukebox playing music, 50s music, and we've got um, the murals that you can see of Chubby Checker and Chuck Berry and Abba and Elvis and we do specials all the time of Elvis burgers um, on Elvis's birthday and Abba's birthday and things like that. So tell me what have you prepared for us today? Uh, we've got a beef burger and chips and a strawberry milkshake. Yum, this looks so delicious so let's try it. Wow, dinner and a show. Now this place is a vintage treat for the whole family to enjoy. Well, what a fun show. Let's hope that you and your kids are now sorted for those school holidays. Make sure that you do join us next week as we check out all of the highlights from the balloons over Waikato. We'll see you then. This has been an Alpha Media Production, a division of Television Media Group.